My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today it is the fourth Sunday in ordinary time. We read from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 4, verses 21 to 30. We read as follows. Jesus said to them, Truly I say to you, no prophet is acceptable in his own country. But in truth I tell you, there were many lepers in Israel in the time of the prophet Elisha, and none of them were cleansed but only Naaman the Syrian. When they heard this, all in the synagogue were filled with wrath. And they though rose up and put him out of the city and led him to the brow of the hill on which the city was built, that they might throw him down head along. They had the hometown syndrome, and they didn't like Jesus had worked miracles in their places, but not in his own home, hometown. My brothers and sisters, besides, they could believe that the son of Joseph and Mary could be a prophet. They could not believe it, but nevertheless it was true. But some of them hesitated, some remembered him as a remarkable boy, some had fond memories of him, some were childhood friends, and yet they allowed the others to take Jesus to a cliff in order to throw him down. It is the power of the peer pressure. My dear brothers and sisters, one day a professor of calculus at university was surprised to see that only one student had come to lecture the day. Apparently the class team had a football match and the other students did not want to miss it. They asked the best people to attend the lecture and take notes for the rest. But as the pupil was taking his notes in a hurry, he made a mistake. On the day of exam, all the students made the same mistake in one of the questions, thinking that all of them could not be wrong. They concluded that the teacher had got it wrong and they asked for a remark. Teacher explained that it did not matter how many people had got it wrong, the answer was still wrong. A lie is a lie even if everyone believes it. The truth is true even if no one believes it. Truth is not relative. Your age, for instance, is exactly what it is. And even if everyone in the world thinks you are younger or older or they vote and decide to change it, they are still wrong. Sometimes as Christians we find ourselves defending the truth against those with mistaken beliefs. Let us remember that we are witnesses to the truth and should defend it with charity always. Mary, the mother most admirable, in the face of peer pressure, we ask you for the courage to stand up always for what is true, what is right, even if they also bring us to the cliff. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen.